So there are movies that you need to be in the mood for. And then there are movies that grip you. And then there are movies that people go, this is a slow burn. And sometimes you will immediately switch off and like, I don't need a slow burn. And I think slow burn movies get a bad rep. It doesn't mean they're bad. It means that the director, the creator, the writers have given you a story where they start out with the thing that's going to grab you, the hook. That's what you have to do as an author. Give them the hook and then they build the world and the story and the characters around that. And that's what you get here. You get a burst of a, just a horrific scene where our protagonist finds herself in and then they build the world and it is harrowing. But is it worth your time in the end? Let's talk about it. Baltimore, New Year's Eve, a talented but troubled police officer is recruited by FBI's chief investigator to help profile and track down a disturbed individual terrorizing the city. So Shailene Woodley is our main protagonist here. Yeah, you probably recognize her from a series, uh, I think it's Big Little Lies. Uh, she's fantastic in that. And also the Di Divergent Allegiant uh, trilogy of movies that didn't do that well. I didn't mind her in those, but I do like her as an actress. I was looking forward to seeing what she did with this role as a police officer with a very dark past who is being recruited by the FBI and the lead there, the chief investigator is Ben Mendelsohn, who brings a fantastic um, presence to screen. He's the guy that's got to kind of figure out what's happened with this mass shooting. We also have fantastic, um, I don't know how to pronounce his name right. He is Mackenzie Jovan Adepa. You will recognize him when you see him on screen. Maybe not the name, but you'll recognize him as one of those actors that you go, oh, I know that dude. I wasn't expecting to be as, I guess, uh, gripped by this movie as my wife and I were. We sat down to watch it, not really having an idea of what it is apart from the title. Um, I hadn't read the description. Let me just say, if you or a loved one sit down to watch this and you've been involved somehow in a mass shooting, um, been around, been affected, this may not be the film for you. Other than that, everybody knows, like if you're in America or around the world, has heard on the news, like the amount of mass shootings there are all the time. Like it almost feels like there's one a day at least. Now, now that's not the story here. The story here is the, the why and the person that has done this and the tracking of that. And so we build a story as the investigation. You get to go on the investigation with our two main actors. And so... The partnership here is what's interesting to watch because the way they showcase the, the mass shootings is enough to make you feel sick to your stomach, but then they kind of, they don't show it all. They just do the investigation, which is great because I don't want to see much of that. You just establish the, the ickiness and then you move on with the investigation, trying to stop the person. And as they find out why, and tracking down the person trying to beat them to doing anything more like they're currently doing you get to find out the background stories as to uh, our uh, medelson his character uh shailene woodley now shailene woodley's story is really interesting really we follow her and she brings such a great presence in the way that you want to know more about her you want to know what's gone on before Right from the beginning, the film establishes with her running up to go see what's happened. And it's different to how everybody else reacts. So you want to know why she reacts that way. But there's also this investigating eye that the camera shows that she has, which makes you really feel like you're investigating with her. It's a very nice technique used in filming to place the viewer you in the moment of looking at something when someone is being interviewed and they focus on a thing and then you see the actor uh, who is the investigator or just in sitting in the back of the room watching everything calculating she has this calculating thing there's this thinking look so you can do so much acting in a face without really being overacting or having to show it or express it you can do it within the eyes and subtle nuances and you know the the cheek compressions or movements of the jaw you can portray so much and i just felt like she brought a lot of that with ben Mendelssohn's character so whenever they're on screen i felt like they were electric together whether they were arguing whether they were shouting at each other whether they were you know enjoying each other's company without doing spoilers it's a journey that you go on and i feel like the fruition when you get on the end it is harrowing 
but it's good you feel like yeah that's exactly where i expected a more realistic way of the story to go it's tense even though it's a slow burn it feels like it's tense throughout and there's also this sort of injustice of our character you want them to win but there's this whole when you're dealing with a story like this when people are killed in 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 mass and you are the chief investigator it shows how much politics goes into it so it can be frustrating as a viewer watching this going why can't you all just work together rather than it being like i'm going to be the one to catch the person and it's going to be my color and then you have people who genuinely just want to stop the person and protect other people and so you have this mix of politics throughout the film but also this mix of the dark story behind our background of the characters and it comes together in a crescendo of yeah that was entertaining harrowing but brilliantly put together not fast paced but really entertaining i'm going to give this a solid four and a half nicholas cage out of five i thought it was a very good film probably will watch it again in a little while like maybe a year and go yeah that was a great story let me know your thoughts are you going to check this one out it comes to sky in the uk soon but i know it'll be in selected cinemas um i think in america and around the world this friday so thanks so much for watching but most of all until next time remember live long on tuesday <laughs>